As the population of Florida continues to grow, the housing market becomes more and more expensive. So in this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of the population growth in Florida and how it's affecting the real estate market, the job market, and small businesses. So don't go anywhere. Hi my friends, welcome to another edition of Real Estate Tips and Tours. If you haven't been to my channel before, I'm Lee Bricky and on this channel we talk real estate, money, and mortgages. So I've been getting a lot of comments and questions lately if the population growth in Florida is good for Florida. Well, it's a two-sided coin. On one side of the coin, if you don't own a home and you're renting right now, it could be a real problem for you because home prices are continuing to go up and rental prices have increased four to five hundred dollars in just the last few months and we can't turn a blind eye that this is affecting not only low income housing but also the middle class i was talking to a friend of mine in orlando who's a real estate agent up there just the other day and we were talking about how we have so many clients in our database that we've been working with over the last two to three years that were one of two things getting their credit repaired or saving money for a down payment and now they're no longer able to buy because they're priced out of the market and this is the majority of our databases now with that said there is another side of the coin where this growing population is creating more jobs and entrepreneurship in the state and also in Port St. Lucie. And especially in Port St. Lucie because there's so much land available for companies to come in and build their manufacturing facilities and distribution facilities. Also wages are going up because employers are having a harder time right now finding employees so they're having to pay employees more money to get them and to keep them but with many of these small businesses and restaurants that are paying higher wages now they're also getting more people into their businesses so they're having more opportunity and many of them are able to grow like they've never been able to grow before another thing we're seeing a lot of is workers who work in construction or work in restaurants that are now going and starting their own businesses and becoming entrepreneurs or like construction workers i have many of them that we work with in real estate that work for a company but they also work on the side on their own because they're licensed and they're making as much money on their side job as they are on their main job also we're seeing the state cities and counties being very aggressive of bringing in multinational companies into the state because these companies want to get out of these high tax states and get into Florida, which is lower taxes for them and their employees. Back up what I'm saying here by showing you what is actually happening in Port St. Lucie and Northern Palm Beach County with all of these companies coming into the state right now and how much money they're bringing with them to cities like Port St. Lucie and what it's doing to the economy there and how it's actually helping the cities and the residents of these cities creating jobs and tax revenue. This study came out last year showing how St. Lucie County's economy is growing by 1.8 billion since 2017 because of attracting new businesses and expansion of existing local businesses. The article goes on to say that there are 46 targeted industry companies which have announced new locations and new expansion in the St. Lucie County area creating 10,000 jobs and the companies that will be directly working with these companies are employing 5,800 people and companies that are indirect creating 2,900 jobs and just expanding small businesses around this will create an additional 1400 jobs for St. Lucie County. So this growth that you're seeing in Port St. Lucie right now has a real positive effect on the city and county. These 46 companies also plan to invest almost $500 million into facilities and equipment that will generate almost 40 million in tax revenue annually for the county. And these tax revenues not only affect Port St. Lucie, but they also affect 
Fort Pierce. So let's go through the list of companies that are coming into Port St. Lucie. First is Amazon, right on the corner of Midway Road in 95. They plan to create 500 jobs. FedEx is also finishing up its construction right there on Becker Road in I-95. And they say that they're hiring 450 full and part-time positions. Then Cheney Brothers, the food distribution company, has announced it's bringing in new distribution center into Port St. Lucie, creating another 380 jobs for the city. And then you have Contender Boats, Maverick Boats, expanding into Port St. Lucie and creating even more jobs. And keep in mind that every city and county that has ever had these large distribution centers and manufacturing facilities come into their city, it has created lots of jobs and lots of entrepreneurship. So friends, the old Port St. Lucie we knew 10 years ago is gone. It is turning into a booming city, attracting more and more multinational companies, small businesses, families, and entrepreneurship. And it is my opinion and opinion of many others that this trend of growth in Port St. Lucie and Northern Palm Beach will continue to go for many, many years. And as far as the housing market in Port St. Lucie goes, you have all of these people from all over the United States coming in, all of these companies coming in to Port St. Lucie, creating jobs, meaning more people coming into Port St. Lucie. And then also in Northern Palm Beach, like Jupiter, Amazon just put a big facility out on the Beeline Highway. They're talking about a thousand employees there. And then also there is a new biomedical center being built, which is partnership between Scripps and the University of Florida on Donald Ross Road right next to the FAU campus where they're hiring 500 people in that facility. And with the medium home price in Northern Palm Beach County like Jupiter or Palm Beach Garden being $800,000, many of these people are going to drive 30 minutes up the road on 95 or the Turnpike and live in Port St. Lucie because it's a way better value to purchase there than it is in Northern Palm Beach County. Like I said, on one side, it's causing a housing affordability crisis, but on the other side, it's creating revenues and jobs and entrepreneurship. So it's just one of those things that we're gonna have to learn to live with and come up with solutions for. But please leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know if you think that the population growth in Florida is a good or bad thing. And that, that all of these companies moving into Port St. Lucie, creating all these jobs and all of this revenue is good for the state and for the city and counties. And good or bad, leave your comment because I know that there are many people out there right now that are kind of scared and freaked out with how expensive housing is becoming in Port St. Lucie and Northern Palm Beach County right now. And if you found value in this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And again, if this is the first time you've been to my site, don't forget to slap that subscribe button right there and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And you can watch our next video on the housing crisis right there. Be kind to each other and I'll see you next time.